The ability to do much higher quality speech transcription by using the information from our Adobe Story script has helped us to create a much more efficient post-production process by using this uh, transcript during our editing. But the, the transcript continues to be useful when we actually distribute this content online. Increasingly, with the amount of content that's distributed online, it's really hard to make viewers aware of the content that you're distributing. And one of the best ways to help people find content, and then when they find it, navigate through it to the places that they're interested in, is to use metadata to enhance the experience. There are a number of different ways to create enhanced experience out of Premiere Pro CS5. We're going to take one a look at one of them, which is with Encore CS5. So we're actually going to take this single clip of video that has a transcript created from Adobe Story, and we're going to take it into Encore, where I've created a menu to allow us to select uh, the, uh, the video that we want to play. And I've just taken the same video, and you can see that we're basically using that in Encore to create our disk. What we're going to do in Encore, though, is we're going to create a searchable Flash DVD right on our desktop. So using our format as Flash, when we say we want to output this, we can build our project, and Encore is automatically going to create a searchable disk that includes all of the transcription information to make it easier to navigate around the content. So if we skip to the final version, you can see that Encore's created a HTML page, which allows us to open it up in a browser. And this HTML page includes all of the navigation and all of the interactivity that we created in our Encore project. So we can say, I want to play this content. And it's going to play the video that we, uh, we burned to our um, interactive Flash experience. And this is, in this case, a, uh, one of the dailies that we've got from our production. And we might want to check a particular area. So using the search box here, we can search for a particular word. Let's use the word judged. And it will search through all of the transcript that we were using in Premiere Pro when we were doing our editing. And when we jump directly to this point, you can see that it's finding the exact area that we want to see. So this creates a much more interactive and easy to navigate experience for the video that you distribute online, helping you to help viewers find the content they're interested in and helping you to make more money because content that can be found is much more valuable.